How bad did Topps ruin Logo Fractor in 2024? Let's get into it. Yes, guys, we are going to talk about 2024 Topps Chrome Logo Fractor Edition, the boxes that everybody was waiting for, and then they told us the price, and most people said, whew, no way. I had a couple friends. I had Peds. I had Brett open up cases each. I think they regretted that decision, even though it was okay. Uh, they were lamenting with me behind the scenes saying, gosh, this product was used to be amazing and now it sucks. <laughs> but let's get into the numbers. We have a three-year running total of box prices, checklist numbers, cost per card, cost per uh, MVP buyback, cost to get the player you want in this product. And it is staggering how much the $110 box price and the 200 card checklist changed year over year on this product. And I don't want to touch any of it. And as of the recording of this video, 72 hours after it went on sale on tops.com, it is still for sale. You can buy 20 cases and 100 boxes each. That is amazing. I don't think they've ever had that kind of limit in quantity for anybody. I wonder, to some extent, if people were ordering through the MLB store and then later canceled those orders and then Tops had to take them all back and put them on their website. Or could it have been the fact that they had 80,000 boxes this year instead of 45,000 for the last two years? Well, that could have a lot to do with it because that is unbelievable how many more boxes they made this year than they had in the past. Last year, you had a limit at the MLB store of four boxes. This year, it was unlimited. You could order as much as you want. My friend Brett ordered three cases and he sold two of them. And I think he had instant regret after seeing the box prices collapse on eBay. And he said, oh gosh, I've got to get these off my books as fast as humanly possible. He made a few bucks, but by and large, I think he regretted that decision of ordering three cases of this product. So enough with the rambling. Let's get into the numbers. When this box price first hit the shelves in 2022, it was on the Topps website and it was $50 a box. When it went up for sale in 2023, it was $65 a box, but it was only through the MLB store. And as I mentioned, you could only get four boxes at a time. Unless later on you could buy it at your local hobby shops, you could buy it on fanatics.com, or you could even buy it at Lids, I think. Maybe not Lids. I don't know. I'm speaking out of turn. But then came 2024. 2024 brought a $110 box price. Yes, a almost 50% increase. Actually, no, take that back. Almost 100% increase in the box price. So we went from a $50 box to a $65 box to a $110 box. And they increased the checklist from 110 cards to 200 cards. So if you want to get an MVP buyback and you were going to order a whole case of it in 2022 or three, you were going to pay on average about, we're well, going to get about 3.3 cards of the players you want. So you're going to get 3.3 Otanis, 3.3 Goldschmidts, 3.3 Judges, 3.3 Acunas, per case because it was 40 box cases even though in 2023 you couldn't really buy cases but if you did if you were lucky enough to do that you could get about 3.3 of the guys you wanted per case well fast forward to this year and it is a whopping one because the case count is 20 boxes per case instead of 40 so it is much much tougher to pull the guys you want so the mvp buyback on average you're probably going to get about 80 dollars Versus in the previous years, that number was triple that amount to almost three and a half times that amount. So do the math there, guys. It's not good. Not good at all. You want to get the players you want? You want to get an Ellie? You want to get a Jason Dominguez? You want to get a Gunner? Well, Gunner Henderson's not a rookie, but you want to get any of the guys that are good rookies? You can't get skeins in this product, but you want to get any of the good top Chrome rookies? Jackson Chorio, Jackson Holiday, Jackson Merrill, all the Jacksons, the Jackson 5. They need to add two more Jacksons so they can have the Jackson 5. There's got to be two rookies out there that are named Jackson. I'm surprised they haven't come up with that yet because that would have been absolutely hilarious. But I digress. 
So if you want to get a player like that that you want, you're going to spend a whopping $1,200 if you average out the fact that these guys are going to come out. They're going to be 10 cards that you want. There's going to be 20 boxes in a case. So you're going to get 200 hits, more or less. And then it's a 200-card checklist. So you're going to basically spend almost the entire box price to half the box price just to get the guys you want, which is really, really leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Now, I've seen some good stuff come out. I've seen a lot of oranges. I've seen a lot of reds. I've seen a lot of greens. I've seen a lot of, what's the one I'm forgetting? The black out of 10. I haven't seen anybody pull a rose gold yet. I think those are impossible to pull. They're like every 800 packs, which is about every 400 boxes, which is about every 20 cases. Well, that's really, really unfortunate. But you want to look at a cost per card. In 2022, when this product came out, it was $5 a card for the logo fractor packs you wanted. In 2023, it was $6.50. And then today, it's a whopping $11 a card. $11. You, get, you, still, you still get color, but you're getting two colors, maybe three colors every two boxes. And you're getting the nine logo fractor base cards. You're going to pay $11 for those? Man, you're in a 200-card checklist, it's going to be almost impossible if you open a lot of this to get any of your money back. The short prints are coming out at a clip of about one per case. When Brett opened his case in 2022, he was getting about four per case. So that is even cut down, not just because of the box count, but because they're much harder to pull. So overall, this product is not good. It used to be good. As a mega box product at $110 a box without a guaranteed auto, it's a bad product. I would love to buy the singles of this. I, sadly, I think I'm going to have to wait a long time because nobody is buying the sealed product to open it at $110 a box at $2,200 a case. If they were 40 box cases, sure. Fair enough. And they were $2,200 like they were in 2020. Or even 2023, if they were $2,500 a case for 40 boxes, people would open a lot of it. So did Tops learn a lesson on this one? Or should I say Fanatics? Or do they just not care? Because it'll sit there and sit there and sit there. And none of the breakers are going to go after it. Because you know what? Right now they're going after the Wemby Mercury boxes. Or other releases that are much more in tune with what their audience actually is opening right now, whether it be basketball season or football. And so baseball just gets left by the wayside. We've got update coming. People are probably waiting to spend their money on update. They don't want to spend the money on Logo Fractor if it doesn't have Paul Skeens. And they sure as heck don't want to spend it when the price is $110 a box. So to sum up, I would have bought cases of Logo Fractor just like my friends did. But at $110 a box, $2,200 a case, with making it almost impossible to pull the guys you want? No thanks. And with that, we'll leave it there. Let me know in the comments below, are you guys buying any Logo Fractor? Are you guys disappointed? Yes, I know, of course you are. But that is going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more content. I know my Brewers didn't, didn't win again. We've been staring at the Bryce Terang card. I know the Mets are probably going to be in the World Series because every single team that has took the Brewers out in the playoffs in the last 10 years, 10 times they've been in the playoffs, it has always gone on to either win the World Series or make it to the World Series. So the Mets are on the NLCS, and yes, they're probably going to make the World Series. I cannot believe I'm saying that, but they could take out the Otani-led Dodgers or the Tatis-slash-Machado-led Padres, I wouldn't put it past them. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. Enjoy the baseball playoffs, and I will see you in the next video.